Offsec just announced some pretty big changes to the OSCP exam. They just put out this post yesterday on December the 1st and a lot of things are changing in the OSCP. We'll just scroll down to the bottom and note that these changes will be happening on January the 11th. So it's just over a one month away. And I think it kind of sucks for people who have been preparing for this exam for a while and now offensive security has thrown this a curveball at them. Uh, because if we scroll to the top, I think the most important thing to note in this change is that there will be Active Directory and potentially pivoting added to the exam. Now Active Directory was added to the OSCP uh, material in 2020, but it was never added to the exam. So most people didn't really focus on that material. And just to note, this is gonna be worth 40 points. So it's a pretty big chunk of the points that you'll require to pass the exam and no partial points will be awarded. So it's kind of like the active directory section of the exam is going to sort of replace the buffer overflow as the key part that you should focus on to get those points. Uh, because buffer overflow is going to be relegated down to only 10 points and those points may not even appear in the exam. So buffer overflow may not even be included in the exam and even if it did it would be only for a low privileged a 10 pointer so pretty big changes now i kind of have mixed feelings about this guys active directory if you do learn it it's not that difficult and i guess there's less variety in active directory they can't throw as much random things in there compared to just uh, giving you a random exploit on exploit DB for example. Active Directory is pretty methodical. I would compare it perhaps to the buffer overflow in the old exam. Yeah I mean if you study Active Directory I guess you would be happy about this change. It is a good change in terms of focusing more on the Active Directory side of things. It's definitely useful and applicable to a real pen testing job. And I think this kind of rounds off the offensive security offerings where the OACP is going to be more of a network-based uh, penetration testing methodology where these 60-point machines, you've got three independent targets, these machines here they kind of mirror doing external penetration tests and the active directory section is going to mirror an internal penetration test and offensive security also came out with a level 200 web exploitation course which will teach you web app penetration tests so it's sort of covering those three major groups of pen tests that is pretty common if you're looking for a pen testing job so in terms of skill and what they're trying to teach you i guess this is a good update but i mean one month away that is pretty fast and if you don't want to do the active directory stuff you've been preparing for the exam for a while probably i would recommend booking your exam before this change happens and another change is they're actually increasing the value of the points that you get for completing the lab exercises to 10 points. So double the points that they used to give you. Uh, most people didn't really bother with those five points for the lab exercises because it took way too long ever since the 2020 OSCP material update. But if it's up to 10 points now, maybe that will be more worth getting it. Uh, depending on how difficult the Active Directory set is, I honestly think this will probably make passing the OSCP a bit easier. Assuming you get the 10 points for 
the a lab report you get the 40 points for the active directory and then you essentially only need to exploit one out of the three ctf like targets in the exam so i think this actually makes the oacp less luck based in a way um, if you just cover your active directory well and yeah i guess it totally depends on how difficult the active directory set is whether they're going to vary it by exam like putting in different exploit chains per active directory set and mix that up for you on multiple exam attempts yeah let me know in the comments what you think about this guys i kind of have mixed feelings about this i don't really like how they are only giving us one month notice and most people on average prepare for the exam for six months so i would have liked them to give us a more longer notice period now this change will probably make cyber sec labs the number one training resource for active directory side of things before you go into the oscp pwk material that is probably the platform that i found the best active directory type of machines so check that out actually we'll pull it up on screen right now and i'll show you guys cybersec labs so we're logged into cybersec labs now and you can see they have eight active directory machines in here i think some are in the beginner labs we've got one and two here in the beginner labs and some in the challenge labs so they have a lot of active directory machines in here and for about ten dollars a month for cybersec labs it's probably going to be the cheapest resource that you can get a lot of active directory practice on for the oscp now so definitely check this resource out if you're planning to take the oscp exam after they make the new updates all right that's it for this video just a quick one to update you guys on the new changes for the oscp exam so let me know what you think about this change and uh, i'll catch you in the next video